Frankie says, just do it this take. Yes, this I said that. This is the one that. that matters. Okay, you guys have seen the Olight Seeker 2 and the Seeker 2 Pro on our channel. Mm -hmm. We love them, yeah. We are comparing it to the WowTech A5 flashlight. Yeah, WowTech sent us this flashlight and they said, compare it to the Olight. Yes, let's do that. You've seen the W1. This brand is technically supported, supported by, by Thrunite. Thrunite. Always good stuff on the Seeker 2 and Seeker 2 Pro, but they're $150 regular price. Yes, you right. can get them cheaper. Yes. How much cheaper can you get them? Uh, it ranges. Depends on the flash sale and the sale that's going on and right. everything. 80 bucks? Yes. I would say 80 to 100 bucks. 100 yeah. bucks? Mm -hmm. Sure. 100 bucks maybe with the freebie along with it? Right. Okay. The WowTech A5 regular Amazon price? It's half that. $50. They come in a cool white or a neutral white. Oh. Yeah, this one's the cool white version. Well, it is way cooler. Okay. We'll go with that, Frankie. <laughs> it's a 26650 rechargeable battery. It includes the USB cable. Yes. Okay. On the Seeker 2, it is a proprietary battery. Yes. The 21700 proprietary battery. It's but rechargeable. It still just plugs into a USB, so I just say that they're the same thing. Kind of. For most users, it's yeah. going to be the same thing. A standard USB, maybe a little nicer? I don't know. I, it, I agree to disagree because I like that factor. <laughs> well, if you buy into Olight's, the brand, you'll have right? a few of them. Exactly, yep. But yeah. then we have those little micro USBs all over the place. Okay. The box for the A5 is here. Doesn't it's, include much. No. We actually just put that lanyard on. Frankie did. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. It includes the rechargeable battery. There's the charging port right here. Yes. It includes spare seals and a spare charging port. Yep. That's it. And foam. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie's got to make that noise whenever she sees foam. Okay. Yes. It is a push button press. There we go. Mm -hmm. We just ran. <laughs> we we got to tell them. Okay, let's do it. We just ran this thing for 10 minutes in the living room. On turbo. On a tail stand on turbo. We turned it off per the instructions. They said, uh -huh. don't run it more than 10 minutes to protect the battery. We kind of wanted to test it. It stayed the entire lumens. It did, yeah. Which are what on the WowTech? 3650? I was surprised. We were waiting for it to come down, but it didn't. It, it may have, but it didn't noticeably step down. Right. It wasn't a huge drop. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. You see blue on the button there. You know it's got a full charge. Let me show the seeker too. You guys like this about the Seeker 2. Oh, yeah. So you see which mode, and you see... The battery life. Yeah, this one's But this about. one doesn't have a full charge. It says the blue meant that it was charged fully. Okay. Prior to usage. That's where it's kind of like a, a gray area. All right, there's a couple of gray areas with this mm -hmm. flashlight. I thought it was going to step down, for one thing. Yeah. Um, I also thought we would have... Ran out of battery? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But no, it's performing fairly well. Yeah. Uh, it did get too hot to touch. <laughs> it was insanely hot, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not to say the Seeker 2 doesn't, but... I mean, 10 minutes on a really high mode, it was hot. It is more lumens. Yeah. Turbo, the maximum output on the A5 on the WowTech, 3650. Maximum on the Seeker 2, 3200. One thing that I do wish that this had hmm. was... I don't know. It's hard to find the button. And what gets me is that, okay, so the button and the USB port is off one. Check it out. There's the USB port. Mm -hmm. There's the button. You see what she means? It's yeah. not It's not 180 degrees off of each other. Mm -hmm. So that is a little confusing. In the dark, and you'll see our, in our testing too, you might go like this to turn on the flashlight. Yeah, you grab it in different places. And then you're like, where is it? Oh, there it is. There it okay. is. Okay, yeah. Yeah. That's a pro for the pro. Secret right, two. yeah. Yeah. It's easy to find the button. Yes. Well, Easier. this one has rubber. This one has color. I mean, but then if you're thinking about it, you're paying twice as much. So, yeah, you're going to get a little bit more. Okay, yeah. Um, you'll see the actual performance in in the in the beams themselves. They differ a little bit, so it may be kind of a preference thing there. Yeah. More of a floodlight with the A5, more of a spotlight with the mm -hmm. Seeker 2. Yes. Kind of. And this yeah. has a little bit more distance. Yes. But not a ton. I mean, really, 
it says eight twenty for this, and then seven sixty for this. So okay. I mean, yeah, I don't know. The stats are very, very similar when it comes to. They're not too far off. Mm -hmm. It's worth looking at, especially if you're in the budget end of a flashlight here. No colors though. It's just a basic black. Plain black. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Ounces. What is the secret to Pro? Just under seven ounces. Okay. Six point nine five. Really? I would have thought that this one was heavier. Seven and a half. Yep. It is heavier, but not by a whole lot. No. Yeah. All right. Maybe because he's just short and chunky. Do you have the calipers there? Yes, I do. It is chunkier, Frankie. We'll use the word. Chunkier? Girthy. Girth. Where did I just put the But right not there? by too much. No. I got the Seeker 2, or one of the Seeker 2 bro boxes out. It includes a pouch. No pouch here. But it does come with a lanyard. Yeah. Which you may or may not use. Okay, what am I doing? I go back to inches. Zero. Okay. I just want to see the difference. Of girthiness? Handle girth? 1.239. Okay, call it 1.25. Widest, widest point. That's yeah, pretty close. 1.11. You can see a little thinner mm -hmm. on A5. Or a little, sorry. A little, a little thinner on the Seeker 2 Pro. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And then let's just see the the length here. He's right at five inches. Uh, right at four and a half. Okay. Okay. Just a little bit different. Yeah. Overall, close. You can see the difference inside too. Both pocketable. Yeah. Cren crenulated bezel. So you can bring some seeker. skulls with this one. Yeah, nothing here. But that's okay. I don't find myself yeah. using that very much. <laughs> okay. All right. Thankfully. Stick around. The on turbo mode, it has impressed us. Yeah, okay. it really has. And with the battery life. But uh we'll we'll transition now to the outdoor stuff so you can see kind of the physical differences on the beam. Yeah. Depending on when you're watching this, the A5 may be as low as 40 bucks. It seems like a really good deal for 40 bucks. For 40 bucks, it's a high performer. For it really 50 is. bucks, it's probably a high performer. Well, and this might go back to like the style that people liked of the mag lights. It's it kind of has that chunky, heavy feel of a mag light. It's a mini mag light. It really is. Yeah, yeah. But way better. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like a Red Bull can. Yeah, it's it is. It needs to be it needs to be this height and this girth and you'd have a Red Bull can. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll transition to the outdoor stuff. Okay. Check the links though if you want to buy one. Mm -hmm. it, it may be on sale at the time of the video. Don't know. I'm curious about this one right here. Oh, yeah. We'll get to that in a different video. Okay, fine. All right, guys. I've got the WowTac A5. Frankie's got the Seeker 2 Pro. And a buddy. He doesn't buddy. have anything right now. Tactical harness. Mm -hmm. I see a new Blade HQ patch. Yeah, he's, he represents Blade HQ. Okay. First thing I noticed in using this flashlight was I struggled between the USB port and the button. Yeah. To turn it on. It's one off center. They are a little off. Yeah. And they feel the same. Yeah. That sounds weird. There's low on the WowTech A5, and low on the left is the, the Seeker, Seeker 2 Pro. It looks pretty similar from this distance. Yeah. If the camera will focus. All right, let's go up to medium. There's medium on both. They're pretty similar. Yeah, it really is. The beam size here. I'm going to stay over this side. You stay over that side. Mine's more concentrated. Think so? Yeah. Okay. There's high There's my on high. each. It's very Pre similar. Pretty similar, really. If I cross into your path, you can't tell that it is. What if we go at a distance there, up in the trees? Here, you shine up there. No. I don't know, it seems really similar. The A5 might have just a little bit, like you can tell. You can tell it's a little brighter. Mm -hmm. All right, turbo. Oh, that's right. Double click for turbo. There it is, this one's getting hot already. Yeah, this one's not yet. So the Seeker 2 
the build construction might be a little nicer. But, but he's, he's too long. But he's getting antsy. He's like, I'm getting antsy in my panties. All right, yeah, this thing's definitely getting hot. Once it's on, you can see where that button is to turn it back off. I'm going strobe mode. All right. Four clicks on the A5, you get to strobe mode. Yeah. It seems about the same, really. Let me see yours. It's definitely brighter on the mm -hmm. A5. <laughs> I don't know, it's getting hot though. Yep. Okay, we're using the WowTac exclusively right now. All right, buddy. Bet our neighbors love us. Mm -hmm. Weekend at 5 a.m. I'm on high right now. There's turbo. It's a wide area. It really is. Go to the go to the O light and and we'll do this view for them. Okay. On turbo. Okay. That's turbo? Yeah. Yeah. Feels like this is a much more concentrated is. brightness. Yeah. This has got probably a wider spill. <laughs> Look at cute little buddy's footprints. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> They're really cute. <laughs> Let's make some cute little footsteps of our own. This thing is definitely getting hot. This one's starting to. As soon as you go to turbo mode, that's when this starts getting warm. Yeah. Okay, low mode on the A5. Medium, high. Low. Here's low as we're looking up close. It's definitely not much. Mm -mm. Medium. High. The high gets really bright. Yeah, it is. It's a big stretch from low to high, but I mean, that's really bright for 40 bucks. Well, 40 bucks is the temporary sale price. Oh, okay. Yeah, so if you're watching this later on, it could be 50, 50 some, I don't know. It's still a lot less than the Seeker 2, so we right. <laughs> had to check it out. The blue light is nice. Yeah, that is nice. Yeah. I just wish it was in colors or something. This is about as pitch black as it's gonna get. You can see the light from the end of the street down there. Just barely, it's way down there. Just a hint. Okay, I've got the WildTech A5. I'm gonna go turbo. There we go. Okay, it, it's not a lot of focused spotlight. No. But man, is it a huge area. It's pretty wide. Just like it's little. Yeah, the amount of spill from this thing. I just like how small it is. It's a good hand size. It's relatively small, kind of yeah. chunky. Yeah. Getting real hot. more focused on the Seeker too. Yeah, it really is. It's a wider spill on the WowTac. The WowTac looks like an egg when you're looking at it. It'll be hard to tell on camera, but the Seeker 2 is more focused for a longer distance. I like my description. The WowTac looks like an egg in its beams. Does it? Yeah, it does. You'll see what I mean when you're looking at it. Okay. It's a little bit more so. You get oh, to see, I think I know what you're talking about. You get about. to see the yolk and then the white part. <laughs> yolk and then a white part. And the egg whites. That's how we're going to start. This one's more like egg whitey. That's how we're going to start describing flashlights. <laughs> whites and egg whites. Scrambled and hard boiled. <laughs> it's technical. People will get it. Just holding the two and high? Yeah. The Seeker 2 is not really getting hot. No, it really doesn't. Is. It doesn't until you go turbo is when it starts heating up pretty fast. Yeah. In the winter time, you'll love it. Yeah, it is. It's a nice little um, hand warmer. Well, it's got high performance, but I guess I can... Just because it's got bigger numbers doesn't necessarily mean it's better, Frankie. Right. That's true. Bigger isn't always better. Not what it, she ever says. 
No one says that? No, never. Where are we going? Disco mode? Disco on the wow tack. <laughs> Disco on the secret two. <laughs> secret two. Wow tack. Secret two. Wow tack. Hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. I want to say that this seeker too is a little bit whiter of a of a color too, as in white, not wide. Yeah. 